Hello everybody, my name is Sujatha Din. I'm a health coach and a cancer coach and I want to share with you some tips today on how not to gain weight during the Easter period. So Easter is a time where it's customary to buy ourselves Easter eggs, or we get gifted Easter eggs, or maybe you're buying it for your family and friends. And I want to share with you what to look for so that you don't end up gaining weight. And this is really important and people often think well it's just an you know one egg or it's just you know a couple of eggs but when you begin to have them very frequently and you're having them in large portions it does result in gaining weight and when you gain weight when you become obese it increases the risk of so many diseases so that's what i want to talk to you about let's reduce your risk of diseases like type 2 diabetes heart disease certain types of cancers you can do it and you can still enjoy chocolate you do not need to give up chocolate i chocolate it every day but I'm going to show you what to do so you are making better choices it is confusing when you walk into whether it's your local news agent your supermarket even the health store when you're buying petrol and you're going to pay there will be lots of choices there and it gets confusing overwhelming and you think well I'll just grab the nearest one but here are some ideas on what to look for. So there's so many different ones, beautifully packaged, and you know they look very appealing, and, and you're thinking, well, which one should I be buying? This is a very, very popular one. I grew up eating the Cadbury's uh, cream eggs as well, and they taste good. You know, if you like milk chocolate, which I used to, now I don't. You just make a transition slowly, a step at a time. But you know, when you have milk chocolate, it is higher in sugar. So you don't want to have too much of the milk chocolate. If you have it occasionally, that's fine. But if you have too much, that sugar content just keeps increasing. So let's look at the nutrition, the sugar per 100 grams. Best to do it per 100 grams because the portion varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. Some may say have 20 grams portion size, some may say have 25 or 30. When you do it per 100 grams, it's standard and you are doing a fair comparison of it. So this is 56 grams if you have just the hollow chocolate, right? So 56 grams is about 14 teaspoons of sugar per 100 grams. That is really high. And then it says here the portion size is 25 grams. When we look at these hollow chocolate eggs, you know, you put it on the table or the kitchen counter and you break it up, um, you would need your kitchen scales by your side to know how much you're having. And it's very easy to have, you know, a piece and then another piece and you may have gone far above that 25 grams. So it's hard to know how much you're having. So keep an eye on your portion sizes, remembering anything made with, you know, milk chocolate is going to be higher in sugar. And then it also has these smaller um, cream eggs in it and this is a, a portion size right so it's 40 grams per portion size over here and this is equivalent to 26 grams of sugar the nhs recommends about this much sugar for an adult in a day you have one of these and you've almost reached your sugar intake for the day and we don't even realize what we're doing when we begin to have these type of treats. So really become aware of what you're having, um, you know, when you're making choices. Then I wanted to talk, let's talk about the Maltesers one. Again, beautifully packaged. Look at the, the nice red color and you've got the hollow chocolate egg and then you've got the truffles inside it as well. It's better just to buy a smaller, box or to buy just you know the truffles on its own or the chocolate on its own because if you've got both it's going to be there and you feel tempted that you do want to finish eating it and not to waste it again these are quite high the hollow egg is you know per 100 grams 58 grams of sugar the Maltese's truffles these are 49 grams of sugar per 100 grams so really really high in sugar you've got to keep an eye on your portion sizes then we've got the bunnies you know we all like the bunnies and they, they look so pretty um and um you know again it's all done the marketing's all there to make us want to buy it. the beautiful blue colors um the golden bunny with the ribbon on it we want to buy these foods right we want to eat these foods because they look good so when we look at this um, let's look at how much sugar there is per 100 grams. So this has got in it 53 grams of sugar for the chocolate egg and the bunny would have 54 grams of sugar per 100 grams. Again, 
this is quite high in sugar. So rather than buying the box, what would be better to do is just to buy the bunny on its own, right? Just get the bunny on its own and then you know you're having this, but don't have the full bunny on your own at one time. You could keep your treats to have them after your meal when you're not as hungry because if you eat them before your meal, you're going to be hungry and you'll eat it all. If you have it after your meal, you'll have a smaller amount and then you won't eat as much of it, really. Um, and then we have these smaller mini eggs over here and these are um, you know quite high in sugar the smaller packets which means you know you won't eat too many of them but when you look at this you know per 100 grams it's 69 grams of sugar that's almost 70 percent of this is sugar really high in sugar very very high 70 percent of this is in sugar of this is sugar and you know eight eggs contains 17 grams of sugar equivalent to about four teaspoons of sugar so if you end up eating eight you've had about four teaspoons of sugar very high that you're having let's then look at the healthier options green and blacks chocolate right so we have the milk chocolate over here and it's organic which is why we think okay it is healthy and yes organic is better for us but even if it's organic and it's high in sugar it is still very high in sugar you know being organic doesn't mean that it that we should still be having a lot of it so this per 100 grams is 46 grams of sugar it's high right so don't be having too much of these and look at the portion size it's 25 grams check what that is when you're eating it and lastly a healthier option to have would be the dark chocolate right when you have the dark chocolate egg that tends to be lower in sugar and this has got per 100 grams, 29 grams of sugar. So better to have the dark chocolate, better to know what your portion sizes are and not to have too much of these types of treats. So you do not need to stop them, just know how much you're having. And I would recommend choosing quality over quantity. So you pay maybe a little bit more, you end up eating less of it and you eat it mindfully. You know, really enjoy the flavors of the chocolate. Don't be, you know, multitasking and doing other things because if you're watching TV, if you're on your phone and you're eating chocolate, you don't even realize you've eaten it and you still keep eating more. So just enjoy your foods, enjoy eating them mindfully. And what you find is just a small change at a time, it's something like reading labels, looking at your portion sizes, helps you not to gain weight in the long term. I hope this has been helpful and if you'd like to get in touch to know what you can do to get healthier and get to your wellness goals, do send me a message. Bye-bye.